I'm heading to MIT, where bots are being built that can find their way to a tumor all on their own. It's a development that may revolutionize cancer treatment. And it's being pioneered by Sangeeta Bhatia and Jeff Von Maltzen. What's wrong with how we treat cancer today? Well, the drugs that we take to treat it go throughout your whole body and are systemically causing toxicity. So that's why your hair falls out. That's why you get incredibly sick. That's why it's challenging for people to even maintain their work life or care for their families. What we have in our kind of arsenal is basically poison. And the poison goes everywhere. And that's why we get the side effects. It's sort of like you know you have a, a fire in a wastebasket, but putting it out by flooding the building may not be a good idea. It's a great analogy. That's a good analogy. So Jeff, to selectively deliver these poisons only to the cancer cells, are you using some kind of microbot to do that? What we're using is smaller than a microbot. So these are the two particles that we use. This is the first population of particles. To give you a sense for how small they are, a hundred of them end on end would be as thick as a sheet of paper. So they're really tiny. So these first particles, they're made entirely of gold they're able to absorb a special wavelength of light. Here's how it works. A mouse with cancerous tumors gets injected with trillions of these first particles, which go throughout the body. 90% of them will miss their target, but a few percent will land on the tumor. At that point, a harmless laser is shined on the mouse. So we actually use a laser that's specifically tuned to emit light that these particles will absorb and convert into heat. So the particles find the tumor, they act as antennas to take this laser light and convert that locally into heat. That heat then causes a local biological change. It'll only heat up the particles that are in the tumor. It'll heat them up enough that it essentially makes a blister. Now you send in a second set of nanobots, but this set of nanobots has the property that it goes after any cell that's telling you, I've, I've got a sunburn here. And that nanobot goes to that sunburn cell. When that second nanobot gets there and sticks to it, it opens up, and that second nanobot releases the chemotherapy. The concentration of chemotherapy at the tumor is 4,000 times higher than it would be if you just gave the person a dose of that same chemotherapy and it went through their whole body. If this success is duplicated in humans, it could mean the difference between life and death for thousands of people.